Hello YouTube, this is my basically everyday carry equipment for those that have not seen any of the videos. First up to be important would be I always wear cargo pants that have you know nice big pockets. Uh, the ones I'm wearing right now actually change into shorts if I so desire to remove the lower leg with the uh, zipper. It doesn't seem to get in the way very often and I've had them since 2006. They're very comfortable. Alright, this right here is a rigger's belt. I always keep that on me just in case for some reason or another I need to end up using the carabiner that's attached to the belt. It's designed specifically to hold a mass amount of weight. As you can see, it's very thick and well attached. I have never had to use it, but I'm always ready to use it because I know how to repel. Uh, the entire belt itself is also covered with Velcro in case you want to attach anything else. And because of how it's designed with this large amount of Velcro on this end, you can see it would be very, very hard to detach. That's why I like it. It's very sturdy belt. Um, you can find it at any military base. They're very nice. And I'm sure you can find it other places. All right, first up. So normally, normally you'd be seeing me uh, getting into my get to getting into or out of a place. And uh, when I'm going home or traveling, I would have my pistol set up like such. This is a cheap holster, very effective. You can keep it in there very cleanly. This is a Glock 17, very nice pistol. Uh, just one of the many we have, but that's the only one I carry with me at all times when I'm on the go. Naturally, I do not have a CHL, therefore I need to be very careful with where I carry it. Therefore, I only leave it in my car for emergencies. This right here is a awesome, awesome, awesome uh, Black Hawk you know, holster. This holster is a lockable holster, meaning if you put your pistol into it, it locks in place. So no one can remove it, because most often when people get shot, they get shot by their own pistol. So you make sure that no one can remove it except for you. If you can remove it, well, that's good. No one else can remove it, press the button, comes right out. Very effective. All right, unrelated note, everyone needs to have a little balance in their life. I carry that in my pocket to remind me, and I also carry around a uh, four gig uh, USB stick just in case I need some information very quickly. Oh yes, you can already hear it from where you are. Keys, carabiner, so I can attach it to my belt loops if I need to. Pens, you never know when you're going to need them. This is a nice little holder. It goes on the belt. It's very sturdy as well. I got this from military base uh, Camp Atterbury up in Indiana. Um, once again, from uh, National Emergency Services Academy. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of it. If you haven't, look it up online. It's a very nice flashlight, and uh, it also can work as a personal defense weapon if you need it to. All right, this is where I keep the goodies. For situations needing a little bit lighter touch, I have both the um, Leatherman, which is very good for just doing, you know, small repairs. You never know when you're going to need, uh, you know, those pliers. Very sturdy. They're uh, moderately expensive. I got this one as, an, as uh, part of a present for my Eagle Scout Award. This, as you, most people would know, there have been the Boy Scouts or just any kind of tool man at all. This is a Swiss Army knife, a very nice one. It actually has its own set of pliers in here, just in case, for some reason or other, you need something to hold something else while you're working. All right. So, that's always on the belt. All right, now I'd already showed you my pistol. These are the two magazines I carry with it. One is 18, and the other is 16. So I've got some extra ammo just in case. They're both the same type of rounds. Credit card case. Cell phone case. Cell phone case. Cell phone, it's an Acer. It's a cheap Acer. I like it. You can actually get the extendable battery on it. Um, this one's uh, a 357... Uh, uh, you know, ion battery pack or LI Lance Lithium basically for Moto Q and it's also got a really nice camera 1.3 megapixels it's cheap it's not the best camera in the world but it actually takes some pretty high quality pictures I, I've, I've taken to conventions and stuff always get your identification taped on mine is now wearing off I need to get a new one alright otherwise as you can already see in the picture got nice little 
knife. Now this one, replaceable blade, cheap. You can go to any hardware store, get that replaced. Not a problem. This is a credit uh, carry card. A uh, calculator. Calculators are always important to carry with you. Never know when you're going to need to check prices, especially I found that many people mischarge me. I always use the calculator to figure out a price if I'm not driving. Basically, the only time I don't do it is when I'm in drive through. Most of the time, I already have the numbers memorized anyway. All right. The Holy Bible. Always good to carry with you. Always good for inspiration, if nothing else. And it's got beautiful, beautiful poetry in here. I love it. I, I'm a minister as well for uh, the uh, Pathways Ministries. Wallet. Notice, big wallet. I can actually throw this at someone if I so desire. It's really heavy. So, it's got a ton of challenge coins for different organizations I'm in. I'm not going to spend too much detail on that. Napkins. I keep these in my pocket. If I ever go to restaurants and stuff and they throw napkins at me, I take them. Never know when I'm going to need these, so I keep them in my pocket. All right. Lastly, you've got nice little gloves. These gloves are got two. Here's the other one. These gloves are very good for using a firearm because they've actually got supports over the most important areas for utilizing a firearm. That way you can, you know, do this for a long period of time and not wear out your hands. You don't want to cut your hand open, you want to cut this glove open. The gloves are cheap. Your hand, you only get one of those. Uh, plus, if for some reason you want to, you can attach it onto yourself. Um, both of them have this. One of them just has a ring and the other one has a little hook. So you can attach them both to the same thing if you so desire. I usually keep them separate, that way I can keep one in each pocket, so I can just pop them out and pop them on. Alright, well that's it for YouTube, that's all I carry on me on a routine basis. That's just for wandering around, doing pretty much anything, I carry all that on me at all times. Um, there's also variants, sometimes I'll carry uh, earplugs, I normally carry this in my wallet, and other times I'll carry um, a couple more sets of knives. Um, I found that a lot of the time the uh, Swiss Army knife and my normal you know flip open knife are plenty that I don't need to carry very much more but sometimes I will anyway um, that's basically it, YouTube have a good day and uh, there's my update for my personal defense you know equipment bye